good evening. It is 6.45 and uh, I'm about to start about 2,400 miles of driving over the next week. Let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to be leaving here picking up a veterinarian surgery trailer that I just did the solar on. It's really cool. Pick that up at the place I did it, my old shop, and we're going to embark towards San Francisco to deliver it to its owner. Now on the way, we're going to stop in Salt Lake City, visit our old pal Devin and our other pal Brad, who are out there working on conversions. I was just out there, if you recall, helping them. We're going to stop off there. Uh, they're going to help me install some solar panels, and I'm going to pick up some super special vintage bus parts from Brad. And then I'm going to leave there and head over to San Francisco to deliver that trailer, attend my good friend Reese's 40th birthday party, and then make my way up to Sacramento, meet Brianna there, pick her up at the airport, and drive and pick up the third of the three buses that we won at auction. Sold! And then head back to her house. All the while bringing all the tools and materials I need to do a roof raise and some other projects that we have going on up there. Yes, it's insane. Yes, it's a lot. I'm gonna miss my house. But the road beckons. It's time to make dollars, put some miles under our feet, under our tires, under the wheels, under the bus. Don't put me under the bus. My name's Chuck Cassie. It's gonna be an adventure. I don't know if I'm gonna be teaching you much, but you're gonna see a lot of stuff. So yes, I live in the city, but <laughs> I kinda got this funny setup here where, Oop, close it, nice. Where I've got this little boulevard I can pull onto. It's kinda neat, anyway. Let's fire up the old girl, huh, shall we? Nice. Let's get some dash lights. That would be cool, huh? All right, what's going on? There we go. Hello. What's going on with my dash lights, though? You know, it's like this dimmer thing. Oh, oh, it wants to. It's thinking about it. You know, just wiggle it a bit. I'm gonna be bummed if I don't have dash lights on this drive. What happened? We were working. Maybe it's a ground, we'll figure this out. Okay, I got my lights figured out. All I had to do was hit my brights and that fixed it. I don't know, something's going on. Anyways, let's get out of here. We got our cameras, we got our windows. Ah, it's a late time to be starting a road trip, isn't it? So starting a road trip at 7 p.m. is a little bit questionable, but I just had a lot to do, frankly, and this is when it happened and I gotta get some miles in. Uh, tonight if I'm gonna have any hope at getting into Salt Lake with some time to hang with Devin and Brad and get that stuff done and you know it's just the way it works out I'm <clears throat> I'm not the boss of me I guess I think the road is you know <laughs> anyway we're gonna grab this trailer never towed it before I'm a little apprehensive uh, towing something for the first time uh, you know at night in the dark right <laughs> But uh, I'm taking the, what I hope is the easy route. I'm not taking I-70 West, I'm taking I-80, which I don't like. I don't like I-80, but it's less hilly. The trailer doesn't, it looks like a big thing. I don't think it weighs a whole heck of a lot at the moment, um, but it is big. So we'll see if I come to regret my uh, route planning or not. I really, I don't want any regrets. There's enough things to regret in life, right? Or am I, no, no regrets. Regretless, no regrets. Well, there she is. <laughs> Big girl, huh? Getting hooked up here. So this was delivered to me from Georgia and uh, this hitch, you know, it's adjustable. And I was going to adjust it and the, it towed all the way out here with these nuts on finger tight. Yikes! Can you believe that? Jeez, so anyway, I'm gonna, you know, tighten that up but that's the kind of stuff that'll freak you out now backing up and doing this you know i got no back windows but here's what i did i got two backup cameras one going straight back and one going straight down i'm that kind of guy that likes to see what's going on here at all times really like that and i also want to see well what's going on on the other side there let's get this hooked up we'll get out of here Jeez, freaky huh this thing is pretty cool you know what i'm saying it's going to be a, a place where you can do surgery on animals, he's trying to keep it cheap for people um, to get these veterinary procedures done. It's got a couple of mini splits there. You put no solar panels on the roof and right there you can see the system that I just installed. That was just the other day. But we're gonna get this locked up. I'm gonna go ahead and do one final inspection because that was a little scary to find that thing loose. 
And uh, we'll pull this out, make sure the trailer brakes are working like they should, and start this trip. Whew. Real quick, this is my backup camera, and you can see I got a clear view of the ball and the trailer up in my grill. Yeehaw! So let me show you what just happened. The, uh, this hitch is rated to a thousand pounds ton weight, ten thousand pounds trailer weight, and uh, thank God we're not dragging on the ground, but uh, we just broke my hitch. Could have been much worse, but this is a real predicament. Uh, this trailer must have an outrageous tongue weight. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, oh my God, that is bad, very bad. That's definitely the scariest, most awful thing that's ever happened to me uh, as far as towing or maybe driving goes. Um, I should have known better, you know, but I, this, this trailer was towed up from Georgia, you know, um, that's like 1500 miles or whatever, no problem. Yeah, but also those bolts are loose, whatever. I hook it up to my bus. Now I added about 350 pounds to the front of the trailer, which, you know, honestly, I, I, would, I was assuming the trailer was a little more balanced and I just, I didn't even, I thought about it, but I was like, oh, that's nothing because it's the whole trailer is still totally empty, you know? And um, then now looking at the, looking at the trailer itself, that back axle, it is way back. I mean, back axle it has two axles. They're way back there. The tongue on this must be under huge load. To snap a half inch grade eight bolt, which is what holds that hitch on, on my bus, each one takes 19,000 pounds. And that's the like working load. I think it probably takes more to make them fail. And they both just snapped right off. Absolutely insane. Um, Jeez, talking to the owner of the trailer, trying to figure out what we do. I got roadside coming. I want to get off the side of this highway. This is my least favorite place to be in the whole world. Um, I got roadside coming. Jeez Louise. Anyway, you know, what's the thing that I could have done differently? You know, I should have maybe gone to a scale. But, like, you know, I, bro I that broke within three miles of leaving the shop. So, I don't know. But uh, I guess a scale or something could have been used to uh, figure out that tongue weight. We are so far off at this point, like the guy who towed it up to me, if we're within 300 pounds of breaking half inch bolts off a rig, I think we're already over by quite a bit, you know? I've towed probably 14,000 pound loads with this exact setup before. We towed uh, a, a triple axle trailer, a huge beefy trailer with a forklift and uh, a metal, or not a metal brake, but a bunch of other tools on it. I mean, we're talking, you know, many, many thousands of pounds all the way to Kansas, not a single problem. But you know, that trailer had really good weight distribution. Jeez. Anyway, I'm just glad nobody got hurt. And honestly, the only property damage here is there's some scrapes on the bottom of the, uh, the trailer hitch, but the trailer itself is fine. And uh, I guess my bus is the only thing that got damaged. Um, I don't know what this means for my plan, though. Heck yeah, what a crazy life, huh? I'm tired. <clears throat> I'm also sick right now. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Here's I-25. Ugh. So this is the tow guy. He's here. He's hooking up to the trailer. And, like, look at how crazy of a job this guy has. There is an interstate here. We're on the side of it. There's nowhere to go. And he's in between the trailer and his truck. If someone rear ends the trailer, he's cut in half. And I was just standing between the trailer and my bus, you know? It's like, I'm doing this kind of stuff. And I get to thinking, I'm like, Chuck, it ain't worth it, buddy. You know what I'm saying? And if you ever see these people on the side of the road, would you move the fuck over for them? They got literally one of the most terrifying jobs on the planet. And they're always out here helping people. Get over for them, you know what I'm saying? Well, I hope he gets the lights on that trailer hooked up soon so that it'll be a little safer. Because right now they're blocking his, the trailer is blocking his flashing lights. Ugh. You know, usually I'm a pretty chipper dude. <laughs> but I have been pushing so hard to get this project finished on time. And I'm sick, if you can hear it in my voice. I've been sick for the last three days. And you know, a fella just gets fucking beat down. I'm grateful I'm alive. I'm grateful that there's the only damage is on my 
trailer hitch, you know? Oh. Anyway, I'm going to be doing some analysis on this. I've got a spin drift. I want to know what happened. Where did we go wrong? Where did we go wrong? You know? Well, this guy's on his way. Thanks, dude. That could have been so much worse, you know what I'm saying? Uh, there is no damage to the trailer. <laughs> I think maybe that, that bottomed out. I don't know. It doesn't even feel rough. So that's good. And the only damage to my bus is a bolt-on hitch. Uh, it was held, it's held on by six bolts, and two of them broke. In the daylight, I will have to do a more comprehensive analysis because by damn, I want to know what the hell just happened to me. Ah, it bent this steel, this hitch right here. So there's a bolt back here, there's a bolt here, and there's supposed to be a bolt there. And uh, look, you know, this bolt, does it have a head on it? Yeah, the head popped off of this bolt. So this bolt's gone, the head popped off of that one. Did it dent the frame? I don't know what I'm even looking at. Oh geez, you know. Has anyone ever seen this? Am I the first? I don't wanna be the first. So what do you think? I did some Googling, I talked to people. Someone suggested that in the picture it looked like I had the trailer a little on a downward setting i try to get a level but if it was down i know that that i guess does put more weight on the tongue but i've never heard of that being done to uh <laughs> protect the hitch i've only ever heard of that being done and could only read about it being done to make sure that the trailer handles correctly well the trailer was definitely tracking correctly because there was plenty of freaking weight on there oh it could have been so much worse i'm gonna go i guess home and sleep at home i'm beat that I waited, it was about two hours. And uh, try this again in the morning and I think I'm leaving this trailer here, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm home again. <laughs> and uh, it's a little bit later, you know? It's 11.30, so that's not a very fun way to kill four hours. Um, what a scary experience, I've been thinking a lot about it. There's a lot of factors at play. Um, I've actually got a YouTube video of me installing that trailer hitch and I use Loctite and a torque wrench, so. I feel really confident my install was good. The only thing I can think of is like that that trailer has a ton of tongue weight and somehow, I don't know. It's a crazy thing, but I am tired and I'm getting sicker by the second. I'm beat. <laughs> not the video I expected, probably not the video you expected. But uh, anyways, thank you for watching. If you have any thoughts about this predicament, throw them in the comment section because I really, I mean, I really want to know what happened um, until we get that trailer on a scale, you know, I mean, that would be the thing, right? If it's, you know, got 3,000 pounds or 4,000 pounds of tongue weight on it. Oh, and keep in mind, the trailer, <clears throat> it's got forward of the rear axle, or I keep saying rear axle, it's got two axles, they're just toward the rear. Forward of the axle, it has water tanks that were empty, cabinets that were empty, a generator box that didn't ha and a generator box that didn't have a generator in it yet. So even though I did add weight with my solar system, the amount of weight to be added still, you know, is probably, you know, full tanks and a generator. I mean, we're looking at probably another 400 pounds pretty easily, I would imagine. So plus anything that you would put in the cabinets. It's not adding up. So if any of y'all are experts, Tell me what you think. Tell me if I fucked up or... Anyway, I gotta go to bed. I'm B. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.